Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. A word we use often in geometry is this word adjacent. You're going to use it in the beginning parts of geometry, and then once you get on to trigonometry as well. We'll hold off on adjacent sides for trigonometry. But for now, the key parts of an adjacent angle is that they share a vertex. Again, the vertex is this point right here. I'm going to draw a red dot. So this right here is a vertex. They have a side in common, which sets them apart from vertical angles. So the side that these two angles share is that ray right there. So I could say that this angle 1 and 2 are adjacent because they share a vertex and they have a side in common. Now if you're being really technical, these two have to be coplanar, which means that they're on the same plane. So if I look at this triangle right here, where I've drawn in a line segment, we only have two adjacent angles. I'm going to write these as 3 and 4. These two angles right here, I'll circle them, are not adjacent because they do not share a vertex. So you can think of adjacent as kind of a word for next to. And by two, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be dealing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs>